welcome to my youtube channel my name is onela scobler and thank you so much for popping by once again thank you for commenting for liking for sharing my videos and if this is your first time hello honey and welcome to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any other christian content videos that i do post in the future and don't forget to set that notification bell so that when i post a new video it notifies you and you first to watch it and then voila me and you are happy so today I'll be sharing a story and uh, the difference now is when it, when I share a story there's no um, pointers that you have to jot down or any scriptures uh, I think yeah, there are no scriptures in my storytelling because it's basically things I went through in my life and I'm sharing so that you don't also come across that thing and you get stuck uh, I'm sharing because I'm hoping that you're gonna learn something out of it and you'll make better decisions than I did so today I'll be sharing a story about a guy I was with um, and uh, I was so convinced that he was going to be my husband until he said one thing that that made me so sure that he was not my husband at all so um, uh, <laughs> it's quite amusing whenever I share this even when I shared with my husband <laughs> but anyways before I met my husband, I met this guy and uh, we got along quite well. I can't really give much details because um, in case I give so many details that one is able to tell who I'm talking about. And that's not the purpose of the video. The purpose of the video is for you to learn uh, from my mistakes or learn from this story I'm about to share and not look at people weirdly and look at them with these eyes and those eyes, you know. So um, before I met my husband, I met this guy and uh we met with this guy at the time when we met he, he had lost it was right after i had lost my grandmother who was my mother my my mother in fact my everything so i just lost her and after i lost her i was the only and the first time i learned what it means to lose a person i've lost aunts i've lost cousins i've lost grandmothers and all of that but it was it, it was so personal this time around because i was raised by her i stayed with her and everything you see so I, it was my, I could safely say it was my first time I learned about grief and I learned about it and I understood it. So when I met this guy, I met this guy and we were working together and had lost his father. And after he had lost his father, we had a group at work from WhatsApp and on WhatsApp and um, everyone was just sending messages. So I just thought, you know, for me personally, when I'm going through something and you're sending me messages, in a group where there's a lot of people i don't really read those messages and sometimes you need just one message to to give you strength for the day so i just sent him a message on the side consoling him that uh, uh he should be fine you know those consoling messages so that's how it started and he was like wow and he was like wow thank you so much and i was still new at work you know so I was like, wow, thank you so much. Uh, that's so thoughtful of you, blah, 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 blah. And he started to share how he was feeling with me. And I was like, Ugh, I understand how you feel. But with time, it, you're going to be okay because time heals everything. And then, okay. So that meant he had my number now on WhatsApp. That meant he had my, my number. And I remember now this other time, he was not fine. And he texted me saying, yo, I'm frustrated. It was during this time of funeral preparations. And I was like, I'm not okay, blah, 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 blah. Like, no, man, you're going to be fine. I said, do you want me to call you? And he said, yes, we called and we spoke and we prayed and, you know, those sessions. And then I remember now this other time I was not fine. And then he was like, no, you're not okay. Okay, let me come over and um, let's meet up, you know. And at that time I needed someone to talk to. Like, okay, cool. He came over. I took a drive, we went for milkshake, and then we spoke and spoke and spoke and spoke and spoke and it was a good session and I had learned so much about him because when you see him, you see him as someone who's quiet, but now when it was this session, I was like, oh, he's a nice guy, he talks, oh wow, this, this and that, you know, and then that's where it all started. After that session, we, when he was, he, he drove me home. So ever since this, that day, I think something within me developed, you know, and also in him developed because ever since that day now, we started um, chatting like every day, that thing of morning, afternoon, evening calls, you know, morning calls, all of that, until we he, he told me how he felt about me. And by the time he told me, I was also feeling the same way. 
so i was like okay we are on the same page and yeah we are good you know so we started spending so much time together he would take me home would pick me up from work if i'm working long hours he, would, he was he was a nice guy I'm working long hours he would opt to bring me stuff from work at work if i'm sick he would go get me medication you know <laughs> all those those movie type of guys you know and then uh because he was also a prayerful guy he he would say stuff you know those random things that you know you're destined for great things not really random but um like out of the blue he would be like you're destined for great things you know you're going far in your life and you know I'm, I'm, I'm scared for myself that if I decide to be with you for so long um, it, it won't work because you uh, you will be in demand people will be calling left left right and center and uh, you if I marry you you'll be the type of wife who's hardly at home because of this this and that um, you be your your media person you know and then with time, those talks eventually faded. And when I say they faded, I mean we started being able to have normal conversations like normal people. I, I could safely say we dated, you know, because we were spending so much time together. So I think, yeah, we were dating. So we'd spend time together, we'd go out, you know, it was those nice relationships. We would go out together, we'd fast together, we'd pray together, you know, we'd take drives together, late drives, you know, it was so great. Up until one time now, you know, uh, okay, before this one time, it was so great that he ticked every box in my criteria of being with someone. And he came in my life at a time where I was not ready to be with anyone. And uh, my heart was still fragile. I wasn't sure if anyone could ever love me. So he came and it was all lovey-dovey, you know, and I didn't even feel that I could be, I didn't even think that I could be able to, to develop feelings for another person. I'll tell you why in another video and on another day, because that's a story for another day. So that happened. And uh, one time now we're having a conversation. So we're having, like he was, we would play, have conversations, all of that. And then one time we're having this conversation, we're playing and he was like, ah, but I feel like the Bible, the Proverbs 31 scripture. I feel like they over-exaggerate. I feel like God over-exaggerates when he talks about a woman. And I looked at him and I was like, okay, what do you mean about that? And he was like, but I don't think women are that great species, you know, like God, it, it, it's just too much. It's so unnecessary. I was like, okay. And I remember the day everything just toned down from this level to down here we're happy in all, everything but i just lost interest because i could not understand and the first thing um that came into mind when he said that was being oppressed you know because i was coming from a relationship where i was being oppressed where i was being silenced whenever i would try to do something for myself wherever i would try to to rise for myself he he would like do this to me so painfully so when i got out of that relationship i had made a promise to myself that on my next relationship I'm not going to compromise that. If you're going to oppress me, if you're going to bring me down, if you, you're going to make sure that I don't flourish, I don't prosper, then I'm not going to be with you. So when he said that, it triggered, what, when he said that, it triggered that in me. So that's why I, my mood just changed, you know. It's like, okay, uh, just take me home because I'm good for today. Ash, he took me home and uh, I, we didn't speak that night because I just switched off my phone because I was I was in that moment in that zone and then days went by and this thing started to bother me but I chose to ignore it like literally chose to ignore it and because I was happy with the guy I was in love and 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 you know so I chose to ignore it and with time it started, started to haunt me and it started being there intensely and still I, I tried to ignore it because I, I wanted him not to be that guy who said that and I strongly believe that he said that because it's how he felt and it's what he believed in so this was me now trying to 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 pretend like he did not say that trying to 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 make him to be a different guy trying to turn him to be a different being he is not and he had said it already he had shown himself so there was no other way around it so it's either if i decided to just continue and be in it 
I'm going to be in it knowing fully that this is how he is. Or if I'm just going to choose not to be in it, I'm going to choose not to be in it. But he had shown it to me, you know, and he, it didn't even need much of me to, to take it out of him or to, 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 to search for it. He said it, you know. So I think now the more it haunted me, the more I wanted to find out from him why he said that. And when I did, he, he would still say the same thing, that that's how he... He previews it. That's what he believes in. So the more I tried to, to find out more from him, the more he was so uh, sure that this is how he is. This is what he believes in. So I, when I would ask him questions, I was asking him because I wanted to hear something different. But the more I asked, the more he said this. So now I was sitting there thinking to myself that, okay, what do I do then? Do I stay knowing that this is how it's going to be? Because you must remember, um, I promised myself that I would not compromise my standards. And right now, I'm about to compromise my standards. If I'm staying, I'm staying knowing that this is how he is. So when he chooses to express himself in the future, in two, three years down the line we're together, it must not be a shock because he had shown me this way before I decided to be with him for so long, you know. So now, I was about to compromise my standards. I was about to 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 be in that same situation again and i was about to to literally lose myself because i lost myself the first time so i was about to do it again so i decided the first time that uh this is not working for me it's not working not because we're not in love it's not working not because we don't get along we fought but it's not working because of this particular thing and i we broke up the first time and after we broke up the first time I think it was three days or four days we got back together again we did it the second time again still it was a few days but the third time i had to say let's meet up let's break up because now i'm about to lower my standards and my standards were i'll never ever be with someone who does not value me with someone who does not see greatness in me with someone who feels that i'm a threat to him so i needed to to, to, to just end this and I said to him that we need to end it not in bad terms we need to end it knowing that we are not bad for each other we there's nothing wrong with you there's nothing wrong with me but it's just the timing is not perfect you know it was a tough decision because remember now normally when you break up with someone you break up because you guys have fought or that person has wronged you but in this situation n no one had done anything wrong to the other but it's just that there was something the things we believed in were quite different. We're both Christians, we're both prayerful, we fast together, but it's just our beliefs in, in things. And it kind of also made me have questions that how can you believe in God and be the same person who feels and believes that uh, he speaks so highly? Yeah, that's, those are his words. He spoke so highly of women in the Bible. So I decided uh, I can't stay here. I can't. Uh, camp here I can't continue here all the love that I have and all the fun that I've had it, it should end just like that because I'm compromising my standards and this is something now I later learned that it's so easy for us to compromise our standards because of a, a thing of a moment or because it feels like it's right to do so you know and I want you to know that I've done it before and I had vowed not to do it again. And I almost did it again. When you lower your standards, don't think that that person is going to change just because you chose to lower your standards. Jesus paid the ultimate price for us. So we, we need to start acting like that. We need to start knowing our value, knowing how much we're worth. If you have to lower your standards, then don't do it. You know, I love the audacity men have. When he wants this type of a woman he wants it like this 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 and that and if you are not that he's not going to be with you but why should we lower our standards why should we compromise our standards because we want to fit that criteria so if now he's he he wants someone who part times church you decide you do, you start being like that because you want to fit that criteria that person is not going to change and don't think that because you chose to lower your standards, he's also going to lower his, he's also going to change, he's also going to succumb to what you want. He's not going to do that. 
the fact that you should you should just consider it as a blessing in disguise the fact that he he showed you these things way before you could commit to him way before you could waste so much time with him uh, then doing it later then you have to start now gathering your life and healing from what he's done and 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 you know so there was a very hard lesson to learn learn from me and little did i know that i was going to later meet someone whom i would, would not have to lower my standards because when i met my husband now i did not have to lower my standards i did not have to fear for my future i did not i, I met someone who whom when i say something he would just take it grab it make it his and run with it you know that's what i needed you need someone who's going to be your partner you need someone who's going to know that you guys are one you guys are a team more than anything you don't need someone who's going to feel that you're threatening them you don't need someone who's going to feel that at uh, the bible speaks so highly of you unnecessarily you don't need someone who's going to have all these sorts of weird things about you and you have to just because you love him because you want to be with him you're just going to take whatever he brings it's not supposed to be like that so don't lower your standards no matter how much you are in love no matter how uh, perfect he may be the character and everything the minute he starts showing you things that you do not approve of be grateful and run run for your life because that person is not going to change they've shown you who they are and that's who they are so don't lower your standards because you're going to end up marrying the wrong person and it's not the right thing to do you're going to end up being with the wrong person and it's not the nicest thing to do so don't lower your standards because of someone Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you next time on my video. I think my next video won't be a story time, but it will be lesson time or teaching time. Don't forget now to subscribe, to like and to comment and share my video.